right, so we can make a couple of things. Um, let's see. Um, so Shannon talked about how overseas, like in China, like in say if we ground zero or the capital of e-waste in the world, um, they use child workers and there's no child labor laws or aren't any that are particularly effective over there. And yeah, local authorities don't do anything about that. And that's that's because of overseas standards. Um, and also, I I agree that e-waste is bad for the environment as far as primitively recycling it overseas, like they do in Guiyu and Ghana and um, and in India and in Thailand also. But the Banning our export of e-waste won't fix that um, because, I mean, overseas they need better stamp safety standards and that, that, that will fix the problem, I, mean, I would think. Um, and also, um, like I said earlier, um, by 2016, developing countries will make more, produce more e-waste than the developed world will. And if in four years from now, if or three years from now, if those countries don't have better safety standards by then, there's even if we somehow stop exporting all our e-waste, they'd be making more than us, and they'd be they'd still be using all these bad <coughs> um, primitive processes with children and polluting the environment. Still, even though we're not exporting there, and um, and finally, I just wanna. Yeah, restate that the ban is ineffective in the European Union. So, yeah, they can't check every single ship that comes out of, you know, docks like Rotterdam, because there's just too many ships. <laughs> Each ship has too, has too many crates, and there's just there's there's no way to check every single ship. So I don't think the the ban would even work here. Not only would it, I think the bad the ban wouldn't help the problem overseas, I don't think it would be effective or work anyway.